Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know at this moment. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. And as always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I'm spiritually golden on all platforms. And don't forget to like and comment if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself. I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right, Virgo, I picked me up that you've been navigating a situation slowly. You've been moving on from a situation that you just couldn't see clearly, but now I see that you're starting to see like that light at the end of the tunnel. You're moving towards a better place, a new destination, and leaving all of the conflict and the problems and the stress behind you it's like you came to a place where you just couldn't uh, do it anymore, stay in a situation that wasn't making you happy. And I'm seeing that you have hope. There's hope for you. There's hope that there's prosperity ahead, literally. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So you're moving forward towards your prosperity and your abundance. And even though you, even though maybe you're not there yet, you know that it's ahead and you know that's where you're going. I'm seeing that you're entering a new cycle. So a, a new romantic cycle is beginning for you as well. Libra, Taurus, Aries, Cancer are here. You could have that in your chart or you could be dealing with one. But a new romantic cycle is growing and developing for you naturally with this empress energy it is growing something is definitely growing here for you and you had to leave behind uh, a situation that just um you didn't you didn't find stability in it and i see that now you're moving towards your perfect match queen and the king of pentacles here like there is i'm hearing there is no doubt there is no doubt in your mind that where you're headed or where you're, where a situation is moving forward to is is going to be anything less of just prosperous and and loving and abundant it's like you have this this knowing and i feel like you're really open to it and you're being very patient um and you're you're following and navigating how you feel about something so I'm seeing a personal issue is reaching a resolution. So something is now completing itself. A personal issue is coming to an end and you're finally going to be able to celebrate and recharge. Four of Wands. So I see you coming together with someone. This is higher levels of commitment, moving into a relationship. Uh, relationship. So a new romantic cycle and a new passionate cycle where you are seeing something stable something stable finally come out of um come out of the the work that you've done from moving on from a situation so get ready to receive get ready to receive all at once i feel like you're you're taking action now you're taking action towards um Again, a new a new cycle, taking action towards resolving certain things, completing cycles, and you're you're coming out of it stronger than before, more resilient than before, and it feels like you've been very tired. You've been maybe even mentally or physically like just exhausted with, over a situation, and you've been. Um, but you've been like you you like you haven't give up given up 
you haven't given up on yourself. You haven't given up um, on finding some sort of resolution here. There is someone around you who, with this Eight of Swords, they have been kind of stuck or felt restricted of something and they they're not their brain has just been in, in knots over here but they've been trying to figure out how to make some sort of move or how to take action towards you i'm hearing left out in the cold this may be someone who you had to distance yourself from you had to distance yourself from in order to get to a more stable place a more passionate place Yeah, even though it's something that maybe you wanted at, at some point, I feel like you are resolving, resolving and gate, uh, bringing some sort of closure to this situation. So somebody is going to take action towards you. New moon in Aries. Again, this person, maybe they're in Aries. Um, but I'm also seeing Libra and Taurus and Cancer here. So it's time to take action. This person has been just resting and thinking of some sort of plan on how to come towards you, how to make some sort of move towards you. They've been healing, resting. And with all these people around, I feel like they've been consulting is what I'm hearing, consulting either friends or family on how to navigate this situation with you or even their guides. They've been consulting uh, others on how to uh, work something out here. Communication, Ace of Swords. So they want clarity on something. They feel like they need some more information because they do see you as finding the courage to move on to, and to move towards your happiness. They see you making a choice that makes you happy. You're moving towards a relationship. Whoever this person is, they see you as uh, like moving towards a relationship or they see that with you and, and they want clarity. So you got someone who wants to talk to you. They want to have a more serious conversation. They want to try to work something out here. This, this is something that they've been thinking about for a while and they've been freaking out over it. They've been worrying. Yeah, they've been... Okay, this person um, is afraid that like you're moving on or you are now moving into a new relationship with someone or you're not single and they're trying to get information on you to see where you're at or if you've taken another offer already interesting it's gonna be unexpected okay so expect a surprise it is going to be a shock to you here emotions are running high so an emotional like interaction is what I'm picking up, but it's going to bring healing. It is going to bring healing and it is going to bring some sort of hope for the future. Happiness, clarity, truth, the moment of truth. Yeah, it's the world here. We're closing up a chapter that needed to, to end. I'm hearing long overdue. It was long overdue. And it's bringing in a lot of um, healing and again, a resolution here. A new romantic cycle is entering into your life. A serious one. This is going to be very serious. So I do feel like you are coming into a long term relationship with someone, um, whether it's a, a job, a career or a person like this you're gonna love it. it it but it's going to grow naturally on its own and it's gonna be unexpected things are about to get emotional for you but it's bringing in a lot of prosperity and abundance what else okay 
hold your vision. So remember what you wanted is what I'm hearing. Remember what you wanted. Don't let pride get in your way. I feel like somebody's been um, a little prideful and they've let their pride get in the way in the past and now they're coming forward um, letting go of, of some sort of pride or ego that they've been holding on to. I'm seeing the number six, four, three, four, 16, the numbers are the letters P I A S N H M O R. So those numbers could be birthdays, the letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.